Greetings and welcome to a different kind of thing here in LGR today. Although it's not entirely different, it still has to do with computer games. Uh, but this is the Texaco 2001 Summer Promotion Kit Need for Speed. Item number, who cares? And a 800 number that may or may not work anymore. Uh, this is a very nondescript package because this is something that was just sent to all sorts of vendors around the country here in the U.S. in 2001. Uh, maybe elsewhere too. I know Texaco is a pretty international company, but uh, yeah, I remember seeing these back then very briefly, and then I forgot about them until I ran across these packages once again on eBay some years ago. So just a tiny bit of context here, even though there's not a whole lot to go on. This was apparently some sort of partnership between Texaco, the petroleum company and distributor, and Electronic Arts and some kind of manufacturer of die-cast model cars. I'm sure I'll find out more in a moment when we get this package open, but yeah. Because not only does it come with artwork and branding for the Need for Speed game, but it also comes with an exclusive demo of the game itself for Windows PCs. Now there was a demo that you could download for free online, but these, as far as I know, were exclusive to the packages that were sold in Texaco stores. So gas stations, service stations, truck stops, what have you. I remember seeing these next to the cash register in various gas stations, just kind of stacked up next to the Slim Jims and chewable tobacco. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing open because uh, I've had this for a while and I've been itching to get into it and I figured, eh, why not unbox it and we're gonna try out the demos as well. All right. Okay, well, it looks like we got a note in here from the seller I got it from. I guess you're saying which ones that it came with. As far as I know, though, this was supposed to come with at least one example of each of the different car packs that were available. Okay, oh wow, this brings back some memories. I worked in retail for uh, too long and it's setting end cap planograms and oh my god it's all coming back and I don't like it but anyway <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go ahead and separate these out into the individual kits but you can kind of see uh, what's going on there all right so here are the five different ones that you could collect so yeah each one of these comes with a different race car model based on a real world car and then each one of these will also come with their own uh, individual demo for Porsche Unleashed. It is kind of an odd promotion if you think about it, like you have NASCAR and kart racing in here. And this is a promo for the game Porsche Unleashed, which is all about racing through histories and classic Porsches, and there's nothing to do with any of these American racing things. And there have been other Need for Speed things sold in retail stores too, like Walmarts, and, and in fact, they still sell them for different modern games. Like here's a Forza Motorsport one uh, sold by Hot Wheels. This one actually makes sense because this is a car and a configuration that you can actually get in the game. And look at all those. Like, I, I kind of want to collect all those. I just picked this up randomly when I saw it the other week and I was like, hey, that reminds me of my things that I, you know. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these individually here and see what we get. All right, so first up here is the Mario's Last Car. It's interesting. It seems to be that the car was like secondary. They were really selling the demo to Porsche Unleashed and the, like, the car is listed as a bonus. That's interesting. But yes, custom CD-ROM game inside. And this comes with the 1988 944S Turbo Coupe. Texaco offers you an exclusive collection of the award-winning game Never Speed Porsche Unleashed by Electronic Arts. This sampler series offers you the mind-numbing, mind-numbing, <laughs> it's kind of a weird way to put it, uh, open road racing experience the Need for Speed TM is known for. Look at that, it's even got uh, installation instructions on the back and some <laughs> uh, controls right there for the game. So here's the company, it looks like, put it out. Equity Marketing Incorporated, Los Angeles, California. Yeah, I was wondering who was responsible for actually putting out this package for EA in Texaco, and I guess that answers that question. I got a little bit off track there, but let's just take a quick look at what the other ones are. So uh, this one here with the 2000 911 Turbo, that was an exciting car in 2000. Came with the bonus car, the number 28 custom Texaco race car. Okay, so car number three is the 2000 Boxster S, and the bonus car is the number 28 Ricky Rudd race car. Now that one is the official Texaco car. Next up, the fourth car here is the special Happiline race car, number 28. Okay, and then the version of the game that it comes with, or the demo, is the 1959 Porsche 356. Very cool, classic convertible, mm. And then finally, the fifth car here. It comes with the custom Texaco race car. 
And this is the 1973 911 Carrera RS 2.7 Coupe. Mm, that is a lustworthy mode of transportation. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up uh, Mario Andretti's last car here. All right. Some nice details on there. It's not quite up to the quality of something like a Hot Wheels or even a Matchbox, but uh, it does have rubber wheels and some nice little writing on there. I mean, like, I like the decals. So is this the company that makes it? Action something or other? <laughs> I'm not familiar with that brand at all. There's the uh, cart logo right there. So this is an officially licensed cart product, at least. Yeah, cool. Okay. And now let's just get to the CD, which it looks like that opens up on the back here. It doesn't look like there's any real easy way to open that. So we're just gonna go for it. I've been curious what the CDs look like exactly because I don't really recall actually having seen what's inside here. Most sellers just leave these sealed. Well, that's interesting. So we got the game logo right there. It's a sampler version, we got Texco and EA logos. <laughs> and then it says which one of these is on the disc. And it actually says on the back here too, it says the violet package. It says the, it comes with the 944 coupe. And here we go, went ahead and opened all of them, got them all laid out nicely here for you. Each of the cars are pretty much the same quality, actually not that bad the more I look at them. They just feel like really cheap in terms of the metal, but the details are nice visually. And of course the CD-ROMs themselves, I mean, they're proper CD-ROM pressings, they look good. The only thing really distinguishing them, of course, other than the text is that little color that associates with the car demo that it comes with. But enough unboxing teasing, let's go ahead and install these demos on Windows 98. I'm curious if they come with the same track or anything like that, what, you know, I'm just curious. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these demos out in the order of the release of the cars that we'll be demoing, starting with the 1959 356. Hmm, this is already different. This sampler version is intended for promotional purposes only and blah blah legal stuff. So this auto run looks pretty much like what you would get with the full game, except it's way laggier and has these different menus here. Look at this, what is this, buy the full game, what does that do? Website probably. Mm, it's an offline website, that's interesting. Buy the game, get a free die-cast miniature race car, complete with Need for Speed decals. Hurry, this order is available while supplies last. Okay, so apparently there was also a Texaco version of Porsche Unleashed? I mean, seriously, yeah, type promotion code Texaco when you order online. Man, I'm curious what that uh, car was that it came with or the decals or whatever. All right, let's go ahead and play here. Install the car, race, register. Yeah, let's just install this car. So this is known as Texaco Web Demo 3, apparently. Wonder why they chose this one to be the third demo. Clearly, my sorting system by age of the car's release in real life is a much better way to sort things out. <laughs> so it looks like I put it in the Electronic Arts folder with my uh, full versions of the rest of the games. Just Texaco Web Demo 3. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, I was wondering how it handled this. So you get a custom menu here just in the auto run and it shows which cards are installed. Um, okay, so let's check just this one and then we'll install the rest of the cards. The user is Tex. <laughs> sure, let's go with Tex. All right, well, that's one thing that's different immediately. There are no background images here and there's no music either. Kind of makes sense. The music, it does say it's on, but nothing is playing. And of course, pretty much everything else is blanked out as you would expect. So we'll just go straight into single player here. We have difficulty selection, go with advanced and we'll do a quick race here. And of course, that is the only car that we can select. And just the one track, the Côte d'Azur, makes sense. That is pretty much the first track that you get in the game, if I recall. We can at least choose any color we want for the 356A convertible here. And we'll put the roof down because, heck yeah. And we can select some opponents. We'll just do one. Three, two... One, go! Well, it's uh, Need for Speed 5. Just on one track with one car. <laughs> Which, you know, 
uh, that's pretty much what the demo was for the just the one you could download online for free for anyone. I only tried it very briefly because I just ended up buying the full game anyway because I knew I wanted it. Whoops, there, there we go. All right, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to know. So let's go ahead and uh, install the other cars and see if we do get any other tracks or anything else with that, but I'm, I'm doubting it. Okay, so I have all five disks installed and they all go into the same folder here in Program Files slash Electronic Arts, the Need for Speed Texaco Web Demo folder, and we've got five demo folders here. And it's kind of weird, it, it has installed everything five times. The only thing that's differed is of course the car information. So each one of these has each separate car. Like we saw earlier, all of them are right here able to be selected. So there really are five different games. It's just a kind of a messy situation, but yeah, this also means that if you changed any of the options, like say miles per hour to kilometers an hour or the graphics options, then uh, yeah, you'll have to change that every time you switch cars. <laughs> It's the price you pay for not having the full version. Oh, wow, so you do get a different track per car. Interesting, so we've got Corsica here. Let's go ahead and just try this out. <laughs> and here we are, a totally new car, new track. Two, one, go! You actually do have some pretty good incentive for collecting all five. You know, or I guess really just buy the full version because wow, what a pain to have to switch completely different programs every time you want to try another car and track combination. Although it makes me wonder if you can combine all of them. Oops, I was not paying attention. If you could combine all of them into one, I might have to try that here after we try all these individual ones. All right, and this one comes with the Alps track. And we have a lot more pre-made colors here, but we're just going to go with nice bright red. Yeah, that's crazy to me that each one of these actually comes with Three, a different track. Two, one, I was honestly go. not expecting that because, you know, I didn't think that EA would be giving away their so much of their goods. Uh, still, of course, you're missing out a lot of the experience. No music and no career mode or anything, but uh, and man, I would have been happy to have collected these back before I bought the full version. Because, like, the normal demo that you got online was something like, <laughs> this game does not work well with a keyboard like this. Uh, <laughs> I can barely see where I'm going too. This track is so dark. Anyway, yeah, the normal demo that you would download for free, I believe only had Normandy and like the 1995 911, and that was it. What? There's a different user this time. Tex and Ninad. <laughs> Ninad? N-E-N-A-D, Nanad, uh, why is there a separate user here? Sure, okay, so we get the industrial zone. I always like that one. It's a very, uh, well, industrial looking track. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Silver Boxster, four opponents in the industrial zone. Three, two, one, go! Has reminded me of uh, Empire City in Need for Speed 3 and Unlockable in, well, Unlockable in both, three and four, but uh, yeah. I'm also not noticing any traffic on any of these. Maybe I didn't, maybe I just didn't enable it or it's possible that it doesn't actually come with any uh, oncoming traffic. I'll have to check on the last, last one here. And the last one is the 911 Turbo from the year 2000, the title car, the one that graced the cover art. All right, so we just got text this time again. There we go, let's see what we got here. Okay, 911 Turbo. Let's go for nice bright yellow like the cover has. And we have uh, Auvergne is the track here. No, we cannot actually change the location settings. So I guess there just isn't any traffic, which, I mean, it makes sense. Go! Go! <laughs> I don't actually remember playing this track a whole lot. I don't remember if it was because I didn't like it or what. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this game's a lot of fun. Not ideal with a keyboard whatsoever, but, uh, you know, good game. Good game. All right, let's try to just 
combine everything into one folder, see if that works. I'll be shocked if it does. All right, so in theory, all we really need are these three folders. And I mean, there's some stuff in here too that may determine where it's actually going to be looking. So if it's that involved, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna try and copy over everything into one folder and see if it works. Hey, we have our other user again, Nanad. All right, single player, quick race. We cannot select anything else. I expected as much, really. I was curious if it'll work with this executable, which seemed to give me a car selection thing, like a drop-down menu. Nope, it doesn't work at all. We still just get the one car and the one track of whatever the executable is. So I'm sure that maybe it could be modified somewhere, but I don't remember enough about the way NFS5's file structure works. And it might, it might just have that blocked off I'm assuming that they would try to do that, but yeah, it's got me curious, at least tentatively, but not enough to do it in this video. <laughs> I'm definitely glad that I picked these up when I did because, well, they're just curious releases and I like exploring things like this on LGR, especially games that were favorites of mine back in the day and are obscure-ish releases that I don't really know much about and there's not much information online. So I hope that you enjoyed exploring with me and if you did, and perhaps you'd like to see some more LGR things, there are new videos right here every Monday and Friday, so stay tuned if you'd like. And as always, thank you very much for watching.